During his nearly 50-year rule, crowds gathered on Revolution Plaza to hear Fidel Castro's thunderous speeches. On Tuesday night, Cuban citizens and foreign diplomats gathered there again for a memorial service honoring the late leader. Earlier, the White House said two U.S. officials are attending the service, but that the group does not include President Obama or Vice President Biden. Elaine Quijano is in Havana. She joins me now from Revolution Square. And Elaine, can you set the scene for us? What's the mood there like in Revolution Square? You know, it is a somber mood, obviously, this being a memorial service. And, Jamie, I can tell you, as you look out, it is an enormous crowd here that has gathered uh, in Revolution Square. I talked to an official here earlier in the evening, and he told me that they estimate when you take into account not just the people who are within the square itself, but also the people who are basically within a radius of about 10 blocks, he believes, around Revolution Square, they're looking at about a million people who have come to attend and be part of this memorial service service, even if those people are far on the outskirts. And that's remarkable when you consider that the entire population of Havana, Jamie, is 2.2 million people. So about a million people at this memorial service here tonight is uh, truly remarkable. More than a dozen world leaders are expected to be speaking here. This is something that's going to be lasting a few hours. There are going to be some musical performances, I'm told, as well. But as you mentioned, President Obama has decided not to send a U.S. delegation, an official delegation. And that's because, according to White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest, of the complex relationship between Cuba and the United States. So instead, the president is sending a top aide, a deputy national security advisor, as well as the top diplomat in Cuba to attend the memorial service here. Yeah, I know there, we've started learning a number of new details about how Cuba plans to remember Fidel Castro and what his funeral will be like, how the country plans to remember him. Um, what else have you learned, Elaine? So we know, uh, as you've probably been reporting, the funeral itself is set to take place on Saturday, and it's going to be at Santiago de Cuba at a, ceremony, at a uh, cemetery there. But starting Wednesday morning, the funeral cortege will begin its procession from here in Havana, retracing in reverse the steps of what is known here in Cuba as the Caravan of Freedom. Now, that is the route that uh, Fidel Castro and his fellow revolutionaries took as they marched from Santiago de Cuba here to Havana when they took power in 1959. Along the way, we are told, en route to Santiago de Cuba, there will be several stops in some provinces along the way, an opportunity, of course, for people who don't live in this large city of Havana to pay their respects as well. And on Saturday, in Santiago de Cuba itself, there will be another large rally at a plaza there, followed by the funeral service itself, the actual burial on Sunday morning. It's fascinating to watch from back here in the United States. Elaine Quijano in Havana, Cuba, thank you so much.